Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. Oh, we are closer and closer to my favorite day of the year. So close. But not close enough. Oh, come on. Christmas is right around the corner. Yeah, another seven days away. I know what will make you jolly. Christmas, Christmas carols! What's your favorite carol? Oh, I'd have to say Carol Burnett. She's so funny. No. Carol Channing's number two. That's not. And number three's got to be Carol O'Connor, though the spelling's different. <laughs> not a person named Carol. Oh. A carol is a joyful song. And, and since we usually sing them during the joyous season of Christmas, uh -huh. what's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, ah, uh, Deck the Halls. Mine too. Really? No. Uh. Let's sing it. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, ba la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, ba la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel, ba la 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 la. Troll the ancient 
jumped your tie carol. Ba la 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 la. What is it? Why did you stop? What in the world? What? Those lyrics. Have you ever thought about them? Deck the halls with boughs of holly? Yeah, what does that mean? Well, I mean, it. Maybe it means to, to punch the hall walls, you know, like you're gonna, you're gonna deck them in a fight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but, but what about Bows of Holly? Bows of Holly. I guess someone named Holly is there, and she's, uh, she's bowing a lot, so. Huh. <laughs> okay, tis the season to be jolly is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Don, we now are gay apparel. Oh, that means to put on your festive clothes. Ah. What are yours? An okay. ugly Christmas sweater and flip-flops. Oh, at the same time? No, no. no. Okay. But now that you mention it, <laughs> yeah, put that away. Oh. Okay, troll the ancient Yuletide carol. Troll. 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 Oh. Troll. Yes, of course, with the. What is that? It's a Yule log. Troll the ancient Yule log. Yule log, that's a Swiss cake roll. And, and besides, it's not Yule log, it's Yule Tide. Yule Tide means the Christmas season. And Yule Tide Carol is a joyous Christmas song. Yule log is completely different. Well, troll means to sing loudly, so your silly little troll doll isn't right either. Let me. Mm. Okay, so troll, the ancient Yule Tide Carol, means to loudly sing an old, joyous Christmas song. Shall we? We shall. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Dawn, we now are gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide Carol. Fa la 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 la. It's Bible story time. Hey guys! Oh, um, let me guess. You were trolling. We sure were. Yeah, but like in the olden days, not like an internet troll. Yeah. Ah, so you were singing loudly. Yeah. Was Carol there? No, but Holly was. Oh, good. <laughs> you know what also sounds good right now? A Christmas story to go with our Christmas Carol. You got one? I sure do. <laughs> Today's story comes from the book of Luke, who wrote about the birth of Jesus. Jesus' birth is a joyous moment, and you can have joy because God sent Jesus to be on earth with us. You can also be joyful that here to help me tell the story today are the So and So Show players. Yay! Last time, we learned how the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary in the town of Nazareth. Gabriel told Mary she was going to give birth to a son and call him Jesus. Now, in those days, Caesar Augustus, the Roman emperor, made a law. I am making a law. I require a, uh, a list to be made of everyone in the whole Roman Empire. The kind of list he was talking about was called a census. A census, yes, that's what I want. Everyone went to their own town to be listed, including Joseph, the man Mary was engaged to. Okay, uh, since I am from the family line of uh, David, yeah. Um, let's see, we've gotta go all the way to the little town of Bethlehem. So, if Nazareth is that way, then uh, Bethlehem must be that way? No, honey. <clears throat> this way. Right, down that road. Let's go. <laughs> Shouldn't we have like a donkey? Or... Oh, probably. But Luke didn't write that part down. 
Luke? Uh, forget about it. Okay. We, uh, we're still going the right way, right? Yeah. Oh, I knew that. You got this, honey. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Mary and Joseph had a long journey ahead of them. They traveled many days, but thankfully, they arrived safely. And while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for the baby to be born. What is it, Mary? It's time. It's time. Oh, it's time. Okay, uh, don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Nobody panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't, don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't, don't panic. Okay. Not sure Joseph was going that crazy, but it's possible. Since everyone was in the town for the census, all the guest rooms were filled with people. There wasn't enough space for Mary and Joseph. They searched the town for a place to give birth. Uh, excuse me, do you have a room for me and my pregnant wife? No! Oh, hello! Uh, my wife is about to give birth to a very special child. That's what all mothers say. Uh, pardon me! Hey, hey, Joseph. It's no use. There's no room. Hey! Well... That we have room with the animals. We'll take it! Mary and Joseph were finally taken to a place where animals like goats and lambs were kept, which was a fitting place for the Lamb of God. It was there that Mary had her baby. A beautiful baby boy. Jesus. <laughs> the end. Give it up for the so-and-so show players. Hey, no more trolling? I, it was itchy. I, I bet Mary and Joseph were worried when they couldn't find a place to stay. I bet they were, but they remained faithful and determined. And the joy they felt when they finally held Jesus in their arms was better than any pain or fear they had. See, that's one thing we can remember. Whenever life gets stressful or difficult, especially during the busy season like this one, we can have joy because God loved us so much to send Jesus. That's beautiful. Hey, thanks for the story. No problem. See you next time. Bye. You know, we've had a great show singing Deck the Halls, really put me in the Christmas spirit. Me too. And, and that Bible story is one of my favorites. It always brings me joy. Oh, I know Joy, she's really great. Oh yeah, is she friends with Carol? Best friends. Mm. Reveal the question. <laughs> what makes your Christmas joyful? Uh, for me, it's sitting by the fire on a cold winter day, surrounded by family and friends I love. And for me, it's singing Christmas carols door to door, bringing cheer to my community. For you, maybe it's cooking a special dinner with those holiday treats you only eat once a year. Yeah, with extended family you probably only see during this time. Yeah. That's what makes this season so incredible. But one thing we can all be joyful for is that God sent Jesus. Yep, that's the greatest gift we can all receive. What's the second greatest gift? Oh. This. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> so talk about it together. What makes your Christmas joyful? And we'll see you all next time on the, the So and So Show. Show. Oh, these are great. I haven't yeah. had these in a while. No, but you did. Remember during the music video, you ate a whole plate That's of That's what these are? Yeah, this is Swiss cake rolls. Oh, no. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!